Do you remember the zombie craze years ago? You couldn't move for something related to the undead. To your left, you had The Walking Dead, the long-running post-apocalyptic series, and to your right, you had Left 4 Dead 2, the highly rated sequel in Turtle Rock Studios' survival horror shooter series. While The Walking Dead TV show will soon conclude, fans of this genre have been looking to games to fill the void, and thankfully, that void is now being well and truly filled with Back for Blood, the spiritual successor of the Left 4 Dead series with Turtle Rock still at the helm. Hi, I'm Deck from Fanatical, and in this video I'll be rounding up the hordes of information about Back for Blood, like zombies on the hunt for brains. Don't forget to like the video if you find it helpful, and subscribe for more game previews. Now let's get into it. Players have enjoyed an open beta to the game recently, but for those still catching up, here's everything you need to know about Back for Blood. Back for Blood releases on October 12th on Steam, as well as on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and Xbox Series X. And when I said that Back for Blood is here to fill the void created by Left 4 Dead, well I meant it. It's being developed by the creators of the original game, and the gameplay is largely identical to Left 4 Dead. For starters, it's a multiplayer first person shooter featuring what do you know? Zombies. Turtle Rock Studios have stated that the game will feature a more expanded story than the Left 4 Dead titles and is more uplifting than other zombie games in the way it presents humanity trying to survive a bleak future. Having played the beta, I can say that the gameplay is similar to that of Left 4 Dead, which is a massive plus to me as I love them. You roam around the map, killing zombies and avoiding special infected that can ruin your entire life. There's infected that grab you, some that are simply massive hulking beasts that could punch you halfway across the map, and there are full hordes of enemies too. A new feature for Back for Blood is the addition of a card system. At the start of every level, you choose a card that gives you differing effects depending on your choice. For example, you could choose to have extra stamina or deal more damage. We don't actually know much about the plot. From what we're aware, the game takes place after a worldwide outbreak caused by a newly discovered parasite. This has left most of the human race now as the Ridden, which is the game's name for a zombie. The remaining survivors that you choose between are called the Cleaners, and these are ready to combat the Ridden. You will have a choice between Walker, Holly, Hoffman, Evangelo, Carly, Doc, Jim and Mom. Yes, that's right, Mom. Each of which has their own unique backstory and offer their own perks that will help you and your team survive. The Ridden is back for blood's name for their zombies, because apparently the game is too cool to call them zombies. Alongside the normal slow moving Ridden, there are special types to mow down with each having their own ways of killing them. These include the tall boy, whose shoulders should be a pretty obvious target to hit. The Reeker, who you'll want to give a wide berth to, as they'll explode on death covering you and your fellow cleaners in sticky puss. Nice. And the Snitcher, who will call for help with a deafening screech when aggroed. And also there will be boss ridden to fight. These will be massive ridden who will pose a considerable threat to you and your team. They will hit hard and withstand a heavy beating before they finally go down. Such as the ogre here. Now that is a scary zombie. You won't get bored of the ridden slaying action with the campaign mode where you can play as one of the eight cleaners and personalize them with a variety of weapons. You can play the campaign solo with the AI taking on the role of your squad or in co-op with three of your friends as you team up online and put your friendships to the test during the apocalypse. The game features a dynamic game director which will adjust the game to your actions. And according to the Back for Blood website, this ensures exciting fights, extreme gameplay diversity and tougher legions of ridden. It'll also mean no playthrough will be the same as you'll face changing environments and hazards as well as different enemy types. If you played Left 4 Dead, you might have enjoyed the Versus campaign in which four survivors attempt to reach an extraction point, while another four players play as the infected, attempting to slow them down or stop them altogether. In Back for Blood, however, the developers confirm that this mode will not make the jump to its new FPS series, instead opting for a versus mode that focuses more on the cleaners v ridden fighting it out in a static smaller map. The 4v4 player versus player mode allows you to take on the role of a cleaner or a ridden to take down the other side. Each team will have unique abilities, weapons and specialties that will hopefully give you an advantage in your fight. Thanks for watching our Back for Blood preview. What is your favourite type of Ridden? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more game previews. That's it for now though. I'm going to load up my shotgun and take on the apocalypse with my squad of cleaners. Goodbye.